Hey guys, so sorry about the video cutting off. This is going to be part two of my Dollar Tree haul. Let me get a drink of my coffee and we will get started. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be able to get all of this done in one video, but I got so much stuff that it's just not going to be possible. And the only reason I don't like doing it in two parts is because not as many of you guys come over and watch part two as you do part one. So... <clears throat> the next thing that I got were two of these peanut butter eggs. They're chocolate flavored, but peanut butter filled. And they have these in the Reese's brand at CVS for $3.99. And I'm not big on buying off-brand chocolate. So for holidays, I mainly only buy name brand candies and chocolate. But there are different things that they come out with that I will try. And if we don't like them... I won't buy them again. So I thought they could give these a try and see how they like them. Let me stretch out my leg really quick, you guys. My leg's going numb again. Oh. Jeez Louise. Okay. So then I got some more framed art. And you guys, I have way too many of these little framed arts. But they get you every time because they just are coming out with so many cute little pictures. So what I do is I like to alternate the framed art. So if I have a spot on a particular wall and I have like a set of three of them hanging up, I'll leave them up for a couple of months and then alternate them, put the other ones away so that way they all get used. So the first one that I got was the super cute vintage looking one and it says Parfum de Provence. It's got the really pretty perfume bottle on it and it looks like a page out of a book. So I thought that one was really cute. The only thing is it's got this mustardy gold kind of uh, frame and I love gold. Gold is my favorite color. If I had to choose between gold and silver, it would be gold all the way. But this particular mustardy gold I don't like with the pictures. I just don't think it goes well. So I got that one. I will be painting that black with maybe like an acrylic paint or something like that. I got this for my front bathroom. And as you guys know, I've said numerous times lately that I'm redoing my front bathroom, but I still have not found a shower curtain that I really like and until I find something that I really like or a theme that I am happy with doing my front bathroom I'm going to leave it in the leopard and I had got rid of a bunch of my leopard pictures for the front bathroom because I thought I would have everything picked out by now so it just looks really bare and I saw this and it was way too cute granted this is giraffe and not leopard but it's still animal print and I thought it was really cute with this black glitter and the sink with the zebra print. So that will be going in there temporarily. I honestly should have just swiped up or swooped up that um, red and black kind of suede looking shower curtain at Ross. I should have got it why they had it and the rug that I had picked out to go with it. It would have looked so nice in my front bathroom. And now I've looked at Target, Kohl's, everywhere and I still haven't found a shower curtain that I'm happy with. I got this pretty picture, <clears throat> and I thought this would be pretty for my beauty room. The only thing I'm not too fond about this picture is the white background. I think they should have added some type of print or maybe a different color background, but I thought the dress was just way too pretty and would look super cute in my beauty room. I got, I hope I'm not covering up the speaker, you guys. I got this picture. And this says, home is our happy place. And I thought this would be really pretty for spring because it's got the birdies and all of the floral print. It's got the rhinestones. And then I got this one. And this one says, love is our anchor. It's got very similar colors. And it's got the chevron print with the rhinestones. And this one I will be painting the frame black as well. So I got both of those. I know there's a glare on these pictures. Sorry about that. I got this one, and this one is going to go in my bedroom. I'm also going to be painting the frame black. It says, let her sleep for when she wakes, she will move mountains. It's got the chevron print in the background with the gold glitter. I picked up this just plain black frame because Robert got his spring pictures back, and they came out super adorable. And I had picked up an 8x10 frame from Dollar General, and it's silver, 
But in all honesty, I shouldn't have got it because we don't do silver. Like, everything in our house is... Not everything, but we have a lot of black and grays in our house. So, the silver would have been okay. It would have been leaning towards the gray, but I just thought black would be better. So, this is just a little bit bigger than an 8x10. So, I'm going to see how it looks, and if it looks good, I'll use it. If not, I'll put it away for something else. Robert has some awards that need to be framed anyways from school. Then, I got two boxes of this Kraft Macaroni and Cheese nothing special we had actually got the off-brand at Dollar Tree it's supposed to be a dupe to the Velveeta shells it's the family size and the first time Jordan made it it was disgusting and I was like okay is it disgusting because of the brand or is it just because Jordan made it so I remade it the other night because I had repurchased it because I told you guys I was gonna buy it one more time make it myself and see if it was any better it was honestly 85% better when I made it, so it was just because he made it, but it still wasn't something that I was in love with, so it was kind of the brand, but mostly because Jordan made it, so we decided just to go back to the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese from Dollar Tree for now. They do get the Velveeta shells, but they're in the single, you know, like the microwavable ones, and that's a ripoff. I don't think that's worth a dollar, so I got three packs of this home store bath tissue toilet paper and if you guys have bought this toilet paper a lot and you've picked it up when you pick this up it feels light as a feather when I picked it up I was like whoa this has some weight to it and I read the package and I noticed it says 275 sheets per roll and it's 50% more sheets and I hadn't even noticed that before I picked it up so you can tell that they did add more weight and more toilet paper so these are even more worth it Obviously, it's better just to buy your toilet paper in bigger packs at like Walmart or Target, but we were completely out of toilet paper, and I got, actually, I didn't get three, I got four of these, and I thought, you know what, I'll get these just until I can get to Target, so I got four of those, I got three of these packs of paper towel, and we were also completely out of paper towel. The day that I went, which was day before yesterday, we had just ran out of paper towel and toilet paper. So, good thing I keep, like, napkins and baby wipes and stuff like that, or we would have been screwed. So, this is also in the home store brand. This is the big roll. They've had this at Dollar Tree for a long time. This is the 100 sheets per roll, and it's the strong and absorbent. It's 102 ply sheets, and it's 61.1 square feet, and I've used this before. This is a repurchase, and I've said this many times. I really enjoy this paper towel. I do think that it is strong, it is absorbent, and it's a good quality paper towel. Is it the best? No. Does it compare to, like, Viva? No, but it is a lot better than some of the chintzy ones they have out there, and these do last me quite a while. We don't use paper towels you know, like a maniac in our house. I like to keep a hand towel and I like to dry my hands on the hand towel rather than grabbing a paper towel every single time. I mainly use them for like cleaning, you know, doing a light cleaning on the counters if something spills, stuff like that. I also got a bottle of this Dijon mustard. This is in the Madison Street Garden. This is the whole grain Dijon mustard all natural and this is 12 ounces of Dijon mustard the reason I got this is because we don't have any Dijon mustard in the refrigerator and I actually really like it for sandwiches so I got that to try I got another loaf of this busy baker white bread and when Jordan's parents left, they had we were house sitting also babysitting nieces and nephews and pets uh, Jordan's mom, Danielle, went out and bought a bunch of food, and she had purchased the Sara Lee bread, and I'm used to using this bread, or there's, I think, the Great Value bread at uh, Walmart, and then I like the Home Pride Butter Top, but I've really been using this a lot. When I used the Sara Lee bread, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so dry, and I was like, dang, I really miss my busy baker bread, so I'm really getting used to this bread, and I really like it. I think it's very moist at least the bread at my dollar tree is super moist and you can tell it's fresh i got two boxes of this village farm instant oatmeal i've bought this oatmeal tons of times 
Normally, I just get the maple and brown sugar boxes that come with eight instead of six. And then they have the, like, kind of, it's like a jar of just oats. And I get that as well. I think those are really great buys. But this has the variety pack. And you get six instead of eight. And it's delicious, you guys. I fed it to the kids while we were babysitting. And they ate both of the boxes that I had. So you get three peaches and cream in this and three strawberries and cream. I cook it for a minute and 30, put a little bit of butter, a little bit of sugar, and it's delicious. So I got two of those, and then I got two of this one, and this one has two cinnamon and spice, two maple and brown sugar, and two apples and cinnamon. I could have sworn that I saw one there that said raisins, and I thought I picked it up, but I guess not. So, because I love raisin oatmeal, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, that's disgusting, but I love it. So, I got two of each of those variety packs. I got another one of these Betty Crocker milk chocolate brownie mixes. This is the family size. It's also got the box top, which is a plus because I collect those for Robert to take to school. And this is 18.4 ounces of brownies for a buck, so that's a great deal, especially in the Betty Crocker brand. I got two bottles of the white vinegar, and the reason I got this is, one, because we use this for Easter eggs, dying Easter eggs, and then two, everyone, and my grandma's been telling me this for years, even since before you guys were raving about it on the comments, my grandma tells me to clean stuff with white vinegar. I tried cleaning, because I have a Keurig and a regular coffee pot, I tried cleaning my coffee pot, could not stand the way it made my entire excuse me, kitchen smell like vinegar, but I need to clean my Keurig, and everyone talks about cleaning with it, so one is for Easter, one is for cleaning, and they do have this at the Dollar Tree randomly, but more around Easter, so I decided to pick up two, these are 32 fluid ounce bottles, I do have a white vinegar in my refrigerator, but it's really old, so I'm going to toss it, I got this box of rice in and the chicken, this is 6.9 ounces. We really like the beef rice roni, the chicken, and then the Spanish rice one. The Spanish rice one, you add stewed tomatoes, and it is delicious. I got, sorry, I have to keep bending way over. The stuff is way over here on the ground. Come on. So, I wanted to get, honestly, I'm not kidding you guys, I wanted to get like eight of these, but... I had put all of the paper towels and the toilet papers in my cart first, which took up a lot of room. So by the time I was done, you know, because it was taking up most of the cart, plus I had so much other stuff, there was no room. I had stuff in my hands, stuff on top of my purse. So I was only able to get one. I really am loving this healthy choice chicken and dumpling soup. It's got half a cup of vegetables in each can. And honestly, half of a can fills me up. So I'll make a bowl of it, I'll eat half of it, and then I'll put the other half in a Tupperware in the fridge and eat it, you know, if I eat it for lunch, then I'll have it for dinner, and it's only 150 calories per serving, and the serving size is, I think, one cup, yeah, it's one cup, so that's not bad at all for a dinner or a lunch. Let me see, I got this bag of apple zing, I was gonna say apple zingers, this is in the Malto Mill brand, which I really like, and this is 10 ounces of cereal, which I think is a great deal for a dollar, and I have had no issues with any of the Malto Mill brand. I really like it. I got another one of these Best Food Mayonnaise, and this was the only one left on the shelf because I had hauled three of these in my last Dollar Tree haul, so I was like, dang, they only have one. Well, when I was walking down the aisle on a box, there was three of them, and I went to pick them up, and they were all super sticky, so I passed and just got the one for now. I'm really enjoying the convenience of, you know, squeezing this on a sandwich rather than getting a knife and spreading it, so I will continue to purchase these as long as they have them. It's nine ounces of mayonnaise in the name brand. Let me see if that's everything. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Like I said, there are a couple things that I am not able to show you because I put them away yesterday. I got a couple banquet TV dinners. I got the Michelina. It's like the manicotti 
cheese. They're like these little roll-ups. I got two of those TV dinners. I got some Cosmic Brownies. It's like a four-pack. And I'm not sure if that's everything that I wasn't able to show you guys. Oh, I got... There is a couple more things. I got this pack of Baby Wipes in the Sesame Street brand. You get 90 of them. And these smell like uh, baby lotion. I don't normally purchase this specific type of baby wipes, but it's all they had. And we keep a box, a huggy box on the back of our toilet. And those are flushables. I got this little pack, which I don't have high hopes for, but everyone's been hauling it. It's the fresh, sweet little hand lotions. I'm going to put these in my purse. One is grapefruit scented. The other one is sugar berries. I'll probably use the sugar berries and give the great grapefruit away. I got this little gift set, and this is the grapefruit scented body wash, and then the grapefruit scented uh, body butter. I thought this would be cute to give away as a gift. So, now I think that is everything. So, if there's anything that I forgot, I will do a forgotten items video, like I always say. I took a lot of pictures that I needed to upload to my Instagram. I uploaded a couple. My Instagram is breakup to makeup one so nothing is uppercase. It's breakup, the number two, and then makeup, the number one. The numbers are not spelled out. I hope you guys enjoyed both of my Dollar Tree videos. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified when one of my videos is uploaded, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next videos, which will be Target Dollar Spot and Walgreens. Bye, guys.